Hello, this is Master Luke Chen. I'm the author of X Secrets of Tao Te Ching. Uh, today I want to talk about Wu Wei, the first step in Qigong. Alright? <laughs> uh, here I go back to Yang Shuo. <laughs> I was in uh, Zhongshan the other day. But anyway, uh, first step, uh, the question is, every movement in the sixth direction, now I'm not talking about the six direction tape because it's much easier for me to speak because it's only one one motion going out coming in release stop absorb stop now you just the six direction is just different position from the eyes okay from the back from the ears so we have to take this quite bit but basically Every movement is going out, stop, going in, stop. Now, <laughs> now, Wu means invisible action. Now, for beginners, if you never learned this before, and then you have to know that the position, just the hand, you need to get the hands up. You, you don't want to just stop like this move, okay? So you need to open here and then release stop absorb stop so in between is evenly you cannot go drama too fast and then too slow is is the control now what control it of course eventually is the turning now turning it, it, the breath controls it now what's the breath the breath is not <laughs> a lot of people say hmm breathing out you think hmm breathing <laughs> Even though, of course, the basically the air coming in, the air goes out. That's uh, uh, biological, uh, physiological, uh, the biology. That's how we breathe. But in essence, how do we get the air coming in? We come in the air is by breathing the diaphragm, pull the diaphragm down, and get the air through the nose going to your lungs. And then, of course, the diaphragm pushing up to get the air out. So the air, oxygen coming in, and then carbon dioxide comes out. So breathing in and breathing out. Now, uh, of course, <laughs> uh, if you can touch the baby in the back, or when you are sleeping, sleeping, and then you, you feel your dantian is moving up and down, uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, like this, this is called chest breathing uh, uh, because the, when you turn the diaphragm so the key for qigong is what turn so you imagine like screwdriver inside like a ball and then you need to turn and then turn and then when you turn get the diaphragm down and of course the air comes in through your nose and then you know, when you turn the diaphragm going up and the air goes out <laughs> now, I, I had a lot of students, actually, uh, when they come, they, and I said, what? Uh, uh, he said, well, I've been using abdominal breathing. Oh, and I asked him, but I said, I can hear you, you breathing in. And when you sing, uh, when you're doing this, that means even though you think you're using the diaphragm down in the abdominal area, but it's not good enough because you just like a balloon, you know, a balloon going out and in, going out and in. But we said it turned like a galaxy in the in the universe, it's like turning. Everything is spiral, spiral turn. And then you can suck in all the energy coming in and then going out. All right. So, <laughs> so the breathing uh, is important. That's the of course for beginners, and you just know the physical movement. For better, you know, more advanced student, and then you pay more attention your breath, and then we mentioned the other tape is the, the shoulder brace that uh, the area turn. But today I want to focus on. <laughs> uh, at the beginning we said the begin every moon from beginning to the end. Now this is what you can see. But what is actually at the very beginning in the Wu Wei. In the Wu, I mean invisible action, <laughs> said. So first of all, you must put your body 
in total relaxed situation. Just like you have something hanging on. So you, the whole thing is just uh, uh, very relaxed. And then there's no way, uh, uh, if you think I'm going to go uh, move my hands, uh, uh, most people will start to move their hands. But of course, it's wrong. That's not the, the way we're doing Qigong. Uh, uh, the, the second level is, uh, I'm going to use my breath, move my breath and move your hands. Uh, yeah, there's more events, but it's not good enough for us. So the further training is right now here, turn your tongue. So everything relax, and then suddenly you turn your tongue. So move your tongue first, and then move the rest of the muscle, the hands, and then you stop, and then move your tongue again, pull it back. Now the tongue, you said, wow, how can my tongue move and move my hands? <laughs> That's the magic of our body. Because our body is connected with the muscles, all the uh, bones, skeletons. And then the bones are controlled by muscles. Muscle contract and release. The tongue is one of the biggest muscles in the body. So if you contract your bottom of your, your tongue, you move it, and then of course, the. Uh, this, uh, this piece of bone uh, connect with the tongue and then connect to the back, uh, the back muscles and then the back muscle connect with the, the spine and the spine of the, the back muscles and then connect with the, uh, the diaphragm and the, uh, uh, and the source muscle. The whole body is uh, interconnected at the joint system through the contraction and expansion of the, uh, uh, the muscles. So you start with the tongue. Now, of course, you say, oh, <laughs> you know, I never use my tongue. Well, <laughs> when we are baby, you know, uh, when we first born, the, the, the whole mouth, uh, the tongue together. Mm, wow, they, they chill. Mm, like, but, <laughs> but later we speak too much and they, they, they broken. But eventually, but be, when we're going back as a baby again, we need to use the tongue. So the bottom of the tongue, when you, you move, this piece of muscle and turn the whole body. Of course, this is training. <laughs> it, it's a training. So with the six direction tape, and uh, at the beginning you just train the movement, and then when you become better, the breath, and now train it with the, uh, the tongue. So step by step. <laughs> so I'm talking now training with the tongue now, okay? So when you're doing this, release. Before you, you hear the tape release, turn your tongue. Move your tongue. At the end of it, you stop. And then the, when you pull it back, the tongue move. Pull it back. The, <laughs> the, the problem of teaching this is because you cannot see my tongue, how it moves. But I can tell you, the tongue actually moves. Uh, uh, the bottom of the tongue moves. Okay, so in Qigong, Qigong we, we, we turn the tongue in a, 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 in a circle and then up and down, a different ways. Now in other tapes, we, we, we have more detail about that, but it's, it's basically, uh, you, you can use your imagination actually using your tongue to turn it, to create a circle, <laughs> create a circle. And then once you create a circle, your body moves it with it. It's wonders. But it takes time, it takes time, and it takes patience. Because as soon as you move your hands, everybody just wants to move their hands. Release, that's all. But patience, let go, and then turn your tongue, and then move. And then let go, turn your tongue, move back. And then, now the tongue, once you, you use to it, now because it, if you want to have a power muscle, what do you do? What do you do? You go to the gym, you work on it every day. So the muscles, you must work on it in order to strength. The same towards the tongue, because the tongue is a piece of muscle. And it, when you are doing movement, the tongue becomes stronger. The tongue is more stronger. And then what happens is the tongue becomes stronger and produces more enzymes. The so enzymes for digestion, good for your digestion. And also, uh, <laughs> and it create time when, when you eat later on, at the time they eat uh, the food, you chew it more. Chew the food more before they go to the stomach. 
and then all the toxin, the poison food, chemical in the food will dissolve because they're getting into your, your stomach and really protecting your digestive system. And, and the, the, uh, that's what the children, they, they chew a lot in your mouth. And then that's why we become that again. And the Lao Ji, the Dao De Jing, we talk about all about the baby become as a baby again. And because now the tongue make a lot of usefulness. All right? And of course, when you talk, and, and then because you connect with the Dantian and the, the tongue, so uh, everything from your Dantian moving is like, yeah, 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 no, no, from the Dantian. So you can conserve your chi. When you're breathing uh, much deeper, and you're from the Dantian, and, <laughs> and, 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 and much deeper because sometimes the breathing, if you, oh, oh, those, and then it really gives you a lot of pressure to your heart, to your lungs. But you, you relax. Let the turning, let the tongue, let uh, the muscle doing the, the turning, doing the breathing without uh, uh, this is really for your along your life and then protect your la uh, lungs and your heart. So it's very simple movement. But however, because it's simple, uh, uh, a lot of people ignore it and also people as soon as you move, they move uh, or they move. No use your tongue first. Now, it, it, it takes some training. Uh, now, because you're doing the sixth direction anyway, you know, move the whole thing, and now it's the time for you to add on the tongue. Now, when you move the tongue, and then you can move the rest. And then it, it's wonderful. When I first <laughs> uh, discovered that, it's really helped me. So I, I did not born with it, and it is a, a discovery process, because uh, one of my teachers, actually she's from the center, and she, you know, she healed herself of very serious illness. And she said, uh, she does the tongue every day uh, Why she was waiting on the bus, uh, you know, uh, doing, she's doing the tongue. And she said, she's a beautiful lady. She said, now I'm 52 years old at the time, 62. <laughs> but she said, oh, my skin just like 25. So it, yeah, think about it, and she attribute the tongue movement uh, for her, you know, uh, the skin. So actually, it, it's very good. To, uh, but right now we said, well, every movement start with the tongue, and it really good your skin, and, and of course, uh, according to her, and then uh, for for me is I feel much more the uh, breathing, very relaxed, and, and much improved. Uh, in the health in general. And uh, we are doing the chico anyway, <laughs> you know. Then the tongue is, is really is important part of it. All right, so, uh, but again, in doing it is important. So we have the, the tapes available, you know, uh, here. And then uh, we have a lot of free tapes with the release absorb. You must use the rhythm. If you don't use the release absorb, then sometimes you can do it very fast or slow. Then you forgot. Forgot means you are every beginning, the tongue. End of it, beginning, the tongue. <laughs> beginning, the tongue. Uh, until you, you, every movement, your tongue go first. Every movement, your tongue go first. But once you have it, and then you can go on to the other stuff. But your tongue is always with the first part of moving. All right? And of course, your mind goes. But, but again, this tape is about the tongue. All right, so <laughs> uh, the essence of Tao is love yourself, love others, love nature. The world's beautiful because you're here. Thank you very much. Here from Yangso. Thank you.